again, my name's Gabe Zona. This is the 11th of February, 2019. Remember when Donald Trump canceled Nancy Pelosi's trip to Afghanistan? And he said he wanted her to be in Washington so they can work on negotiations for the border wall. And he said that if they can't come to terms by the 15th of February, the government either will be shut down or he'll exert a state of national emergency. So where is he going on the 11th of February 2019? Well, article on ABC News. El Paso officials denounced Trump's border comments ahead of his first 2019 campaign rally. Beto O'Rourke is joining an El Paso rally opposing the president's nearby, written by Rachel Scott, S-C-O-T-T. -T. As President Donald Trump heads to El Paso, Texas on Monday for his first campaign rally of the year, some local officials and law enforcement are speaking out against his recent claims on border security. There are concerns that the president holding a rally in a 6,000-seat arena on Monday night will share what some officials call a misguided view on the effectiveness of a border fence in El Paso. During his State of the Union address last week, Trump claimed El Paso has become one of the safest cities in America because of a barrier fence igniting a firestorm of reaction from state and local representatives. Quote, the border city of El Paso, Texas used to have extremely high rate of violence crime, one of the highest in the country and considered one of our nation's most dangerous cities, Trump said. Now, with the powerful barrier in place, El Paso is one of our safest cities. Trump's got to stop spewing the bullshit. Hours later, the El Paso County Sheriff denounced the President's remarks. Quote, it is sad to hear President Trump state falsehoods about El Paso, Texas in an attempt to justify the building of a 2,000-mile wall, Sheriff Richard Wiles told ABC News. While it is true that El Paso is one of the safest cities in the nation, it has never been considered one of our nation's most dangerous cities. In El Paso, was a safe city long before any wall was built. El Paso Mayor DeMargo slammed the president on Twitter, quote, El Paso was never one of the most dangerous cities in the U.S. We've had a fence for 10 years, and it has impacted illegal immigration and curbed criminal activity. It is not the sole deterrent. Law enforcement in our community continues to keep us safe. The city's fence was part of many barriers built under the Secure Fence Act, a bill signed by President George W. Bush in 2006. The legislation, supported by many Democrats, members of Congress, funded hundreds of miles of fences along the southern border. Former U.S. Representative Betty O'Rourke, whose hometown is El Paso, also engaged in a debate calling the 206 legislation misguided. Our government built a border fence in El Paso in 2008, a misguided response to 9-11. No terrorists have crossed the southern border and attacked this country. It didn't make us any safer, O'Rourke said in a tweet. Well, that's not true. They just finished saying that it has made it safer, but they don't attribute all of that being safer to the wall. On Monday, when the president takes a stage in El Paso, O'Rourke will do the same, a stone's throw away. Trump's rally will take place at the larger El Paso Country Coliseum, while O'Rourke will speak at Chalillo Acosta Sports Center. The O'Reilly rally, according to organizers, will show the country the reality of the border, a vibrant, safe, binational community that proudly celebrates its culture, history, diversity, and status is a city of immigrants. Trump campaign officials say the city was chosen for the rally to show the effectiveness of the border fence. As the president continues to fight to secure our border, there's no better place to demonstrate that walls work than in El Paso. 
Michael Glasner, the Trump campaign chief operating officer, said. The El Paso Times reported that violent crime rates in the city increased 17 percent between 2006 and 2011. Even with construction of the border fence beginning in 2008, the city had the third lowest violent crime rate among 35 U.S. cities with a population of over 500,000 from 2005 to 2007, all before construction on the fence began. And according to the uniform crime reports from the FBI, between 1993 and 2006, the number of violent crimes dropped by more than 34 percent. Still, Texas officials are divided on the impact of the border fence on crime. A month ahead of the State of Union address, Texas Attorney General Ken Paxson was among order other state leaders in McAllen, Texas, who participated in a roundtable on immigration and border security with Trump. El Paso used to have one of the highest crime rates in America, Paxson said on January the 10th. Since that fence went up, crime rates in El Paso are now among the lowest in the country, so we know it works. See, the problem is that they're going off of bullshit information. Campaign aides noticed this will be the seventh rally Trump held in Texas, but the first in El Paso since his campaign launched in 215. The rally comes just days before a congressional deadline of Friday midnight to make a deal on border security as the country actually inches toward another government shutdown. Like I said, why the hell is he flying to El Paso? Why isn't he staying in Washington to work on getting this thing resolved? You know, avoiding a government shutdown? Absolute bullshit. I've said it countless times. This border wall is nothing more than to distract, divert, and deceive so they can continue with their agenda. What's the agenda? Well, you know what the agenda is. One world order. I'll attach the link. You take a look at it. Absolute bullshit. That's what all this wall crap is. Absolute bullshit. Thanks for listening. You might want to repost this in your social media accounts, pass along to your like-minded friends. No need to send a copy to Trump. He doesn't look at them anyway.